So before anyone comes for me for appearing on the internet looking like I do, please <laughs> be careful, watch it. So I'm at home. I came home to my mom's place and I thought just cropped up in my mind and you know, I thought why not record this because I would need it for future reference. So it's during the festivities and I have come to realize that I've always wanted to come back home, especially when I'm feeling down. I've never known why, but I think I know the reason why now. Because I kind of feel like, you see, in those moments when I'm feeling so low, when I come home, it reminds me of why I should keep working hard and doing my very best out there. So you see, when you leave home, I'm sorry, the sun is too hot and if I sit the other way, I'll have a shadow on my head, on my eyes, so allow me not to look at you. So basically, what I have realized, we always say that you leave home to make home better. But you know, when you're almost giving up, you should always remember what home is like and what better you're making it, what better you would want to make it and how, how you're working, what efforts you're putting in to make that dream a reality and so i've come to realize that every time that i come home i go back to my place feeling energized and feeling motivated to even be a better version of myself and now as we go into the new year i would love to say that i'm happy for this uh would i call it i'm happy for this far that I've come and for everything that I have currently and everything that has worked and all that has not worked because I feel like now I understand why things didn't work the way I wanted them to work and they are working the way God wanted them to be because some things would have been far much better if it was always me allowing God to work things out but you know we human beings we always try to be in control of everything and I'm getting tired so we always try to be in control of everything and ensure that we are able to control and you know just know what is going to happen but I've come to realize if you knew what was going to happen to you tomorrow you wouldn't have confidence in God and you would be confident in what is going to happen to you so i think god has been wise and he has give, he has given us the honor of going through the suffering so that we can always remember him and always have time to look back and remember why we started in the first place and keep trusting him because hey i can tell you 2020 Three has not been the year that I had hoped for, but it has been everything that God wanted me to go through that I believe because so much has been working out, not the way or not when I would have wished it did, but I'm so glad that things are working out the way they are. So as we go into the new year, I would love to say, just remember, you know, just remember why you started and also remember that you have a reason to always be grateful to god and to always appreciate everything that you do and everything that god takes you through because at the end of the day <coughs> whatever did not make sense yesterday will make sense today and you will be so grateful that things didn't work out the way you had hoped they would because right, right now as i look back I'm so grateful things didn't work out the way I had hoped they would because then I would trust myself and take pride in all that I have done for myself to get to where I am but currently I can tell you for a fact I am taking pride in the fact that I have a loving father who is Jesus Christ and He's been there for me. He's been guiding me. He's been directing me. He's been seeing me through tough times. And also just keeping me going. Because I can tell you for a fact. As some of you may already know that 2023 has not been the year we hoped for. 
so as we go into 2024 i would want to remind you that this is a time for you to reflect be grateful to god and tell him to direct your ear and don't be quick to judge when things don't work out the way you had hoped they would so until then bye